Fancy Fat Cinema here. Hey, we're still working on our vintage quarter flat journal over here. I'm so excited. We're getting near the end. It's getting nice and chunky. Whoop, things are falling out. Um, today's tutorial is working with those store bought stickers and tags. And we only have a couple pages left in our journal. So um, I've got a page here that we're going to be working on and we are going to be using all the store bought goodies so i'm going to show you how you can take those and just transform them into um whatever theme you're working on and today in particular it's going to be the vintage uh so we're going to transform these things i'm just going to show you how you can take everyday things even from your local dollar store and really turn them into something fabulous so i'm going to tilt the camera down and we're going to get right to it all right so here we go here are my goodies let's get some better lighting on you all right so um what i have got here are uh all these kind of you've seen these before i mean okay these are so fabulous you guys i got these it's a little bit torn because it's been so used but they're these little like sheets of um cute little inserts for your journal and you can get various themes and this one in particular it's they're from smashstoriesblog.com and i actually got them over at uh tuesday morning and they were on clearance for 49 cents these are fabulous you get all these little inserts look how cute they are and then i'm simply going to use some little stickers that i got from my local dollar store and these as well and i'm sure you've seen them before so we're going to be using these today and i am going to mush them with some of my papers that i've um, made here actually i only have a few out and then some that are stained and then i've also just got some regular craft paper so let's get started here i'm just gonna let me just put everything aside and get the journal out and um because what i'm going to do first is i'm just going to i'm going to actually take this clip out it, it's one of my other pages i just put in in one of my last videos but i'm going to take it out for now but let's build up this page first with some of our wonderful papers that i've showed you how to do in some of my other videos and then we can start embellishing um the whew, stickers and stuff because I want to show you how and I'm just cutting typically I use my trimmer but I'm feeling a little bit lazy today because I just want to get to the fun stuff so it's just like get this in for the purpose of the video so you guys can see um, you know how to create or transform these stickers Right. Okay. And I could have done this prior, but I always still like you guys to see how I build up my pages just using this collage collage technique. And I don't typically flip around in my book like this. Like I've done pages over here already. Might have to take that clip out too. And it makes it difficult for me to get the pages in, but for the purpose of doing these videos, I tend to kind of bounce around in my journal because there's specific things I want to show you. And some pages have the craft paper already and some don't. So I just really want you guys to get, you know, an idea. Wow, I really didn't glue this well. Got to make sure you get a lot of glue on. And I just did not do that. All right. That should be good. Let's get some glue down. Probably doesn't help that there's something really bumpy in behind, but okay. So let's um, start. Now, I have done tutorials where I show you how to make these envelopes, and they're just the library envelopes. So I have one made here already 
that I want to use um, so these stickers I want to use one of the embellishments on so I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of vintaging on here with my trusty Tim Holtz distress oxide here and it is the vintage photo one I'm just gonna kind of do the corners a bit edges and I love this paper that I have here isn't that cute it's got all kinds of random little vintage designs on it so it really does fit the theme okay I'm gonna do a little bit here and I think what I'm going to do just to make this a little more interesting is I just want to add a little bit of, where's my book pages, a little bit of book pages on top. So if you guys have seen me do this before, I'll just... Um, like glue some book pages on top like so okay and then I just kind of let that dry and I'm sure you've seen me do this before where I pull it but this is the front of our pocket right here this is the part that's going to go over the pocket here and that's where I'm going to put the sticker so I've got this sticker here that I'm going to use and I'm all I'm going to do is on this one. Whoop, I had all my stuff here. It's here somewhere. Let's get a tiny bit. Oh, that's not the paint I want. What color is this? It just wasn't mixed. I'm completely unprepared today, you guys. So, uh, this paint that I'm using, it's a Martha Stewart, and I'm hoping it gets mixed up. For some reason, it's completely watered down. I'm just trying to shake it up here. Okay. It is a funny little name. Okay, so this paint is called Pintura de No. What is this, the name of this paint? I don't even know. Where's the name on it? This isn't the name. It's telling me. I think it was bizarre. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Well, guess what? It is more of a cream, and I don't know what the name of this paint is. I'm not sure if it's called the Pintura de Acabado Tipo. Huh. Anyways, I'm really stumped here, you guys. I've never had this happen. Anyways, if you can figure it out. But um, just so that you do know, if you want to use um, just... The Folk Art has a paint that's called um, Vintage White, and you can use anything like that or a little off-white. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this because I just happen to have it next to me. But I'm really, I'm going to take the sticker, and I'm just taking a little bit of paint, and I'm just going to kind of rub it around the edges, almost like you're going to vintage it with uh your ink but you're using you're literally using paint okay gonna get some in the corners and just kind of use your finger and you don't need a lot like as you can see it's going on really light but what i'm just trying to do is you know age it up so that it's not looking like you bought the sticker from the store and you went and just slapped it on so and it's okay if you know there's more paint in some areas less in others 
um, and see how it just kind of ages it up a bit. It fades the color. It's not totally thick on. And then at this point, what I'm going to do is just stick it right on top of the front, whoops, of my, on the front of my pocket, just like so. See how cute that is? Now with my pocket over here, let's see if it's dry. I am just lifting some of that um, book page paper off the back of my, so you get that wallpaper effect, off the back of my pocket pouch. And then this, with the sticker, is just going to go on top. And then look how neat that is. It's just something really cute and unique, and you can just put it in the page of your arch journal, which is what I'm gonna do here. But before I stick down, I always like to kind of figure out what I'm doing and play with my composition before I you know, go ahead and fasten th things permanently. I'm also gonna use some of these, like I've gotta get a little bit of papers in here that um, have, you know, places to write. So I'm going to go through here. They just These have like the best little, look at this one. It's got a little typewriter on it. This is the travel book. And this one says, don't forget to bring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple that kind of flap down the page. So I'm going to do this one, that, and I'll stick this one in. So this one says, if I could go, so if I could go anywhere, live anywhere, and then the date here, don't forget to bring, and then I'm just going to put a simple plain one. And we're going to have this. Now this is where I kind of play around because I figure out, hmm, do I really want that pocket there? Or am I going to put it over here on this side? And I think that's where I'm going. So let's take these store-bought pages. Um, we're going to distress them up a bit. Okay, I think on this, I'm going to add a little bit of ink in some places. And then I'm going to take a little bit of paint. Because I love to use um, like paint and ink, both of them, just to age it up take that pure white out of you know what you're working with so it just doesn't look so new and we're just look at the transformation already it's just crazy what a little bit of something will do and the same thing with this i think this one i'll just use ink the blue i'll add um some paint because there's just more of a contrast and play around you know like if you just think of um, maybe you know 20 40 years ago your um, parents or grandparents had paper lying around as they were renovating you know these little notes and they got paint on it they spilled ink they spilled their coffee whatever it is and, you know, they just had this little drawer of all these papers that they probably thought they got rid of, and they didn't. And now you're like, oh, look at this. I can journal with it. It's so unique. And we're just literally just creating this. So that's my little technique for banging this stuff up. And then um, add a little vintage to this. And then, you know, sometimes I just like to kind of tear the edges. You know me and tearing things. And it could just be like a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot. So we've got three different sheets here and the little torn page I'll put over the blue this one like that if you want to you know 
do a little rounded corner on one. You could do that, add a little, you know, distressing to darken up the edge of that. That's always fun. Just to add, you know, some depth, like so. Maybe you want to tear this a bit more. So just make it look old, you know. You can crinkle it, you can do whatever you like. Okay, so then at this point, all we're going to do, let's get all this stuff out of the way. When we put it in the journal is um, we're just going to get a little washi tape. Just kind of play with your, figure out which um, ones you want, first, second, and third. I think I'll put this one at the top. Okay, so you're, you're going to arrange them how you would like them in your page. And then figure out what washi tape you want. I have a variety of washi tapes here. I think I'm just going to switch it up. So the first tag that we're going to put down, grab your washi tape. And I like to do my washi tape this way. I like to put it upside down so I can see where I'm centering it. All right, and now this is my little trick is I just like to, I'm not cutting it because I want that edge, but I want these pages to flip up. So I'm literally just snipping it here so that the pages can flip up in my book. Okay, and then we're going to place your first sheet down. Make sure it's very close to the bottom of your page because we're going to be layering these. What do I do with my bone folder? There it is. Okay. So the slit just allows you to flip them up this way. Okay, so my next one is the blue. That's the top one. So pick out which washi tape you want on that one. I'm just going to do a different one for each tape, for each uh, paper. Again, I just like to put it upside down on my workspace. Line it up. Again, just snip there. Snip there. And then we're going to lay it on top and just make sure that, you know, you're exposing the bottom of your first little um, notepad or note piece of paper or whatever it is. And then you can see how easy that flips up. You can see the bottom one, so cute. Okay, and then the last one, I think you're getting the idea. You can use the same washi tape for each one or you can use something different. It's all up to you. I'm using different ones. Same thing here, add your washi tape, totally made this one crooked. Oh, there's also a little written thing on the top. So this one I'm going to do from the front because I don't want to hide the little note there. Okay, and same thing, we're just going to snip a bit. And then this one's going to go on the top. Now, if you've got some here, you can just turn it over the side if you want or trim it. However, you know, whatever you prefer. Okay, so this is what we've done is we've taken those store-bought little sheets of paper. We've just aged them up a bit and then we've washi taped them into our book and we have like this little notepad and then the other thing so what I like to do on the other sides of these is um, 
there's so many things you could do. First of all, you can like glue paper onto it. You can add little notes. You can add colored paper. You can paint. You can write. What I like to do is get my ink pad out. I made this stamp. It's literally just lines. And I just like to have these little lines there. I should have done it before, but I didn't. Just as, you know, so that it's not looking so dull when you flip it up. And you can write on them or you can, you know, add little like post-its or notes on top. Thought I had a few samples. Um, another thing that we can do, which we will do on one, is add um, stickers. So just go ahead. I'm, I've got a little sticker here that I'm going to use. So this one I'm going to leave blank. I am going to stamp this one and then I'm going to put a sticker on top and I'm going to show you what it looks like. And you can put these lines any way you want. You can put them vertical. I mean, if you want to create a stamp like this. And you can also add more on top to make it checkered. Okay, and I'll leave the top exposed here. And then you take your sticker. If you want to do the same technique of adding a little bit of paint to age it up or ink, you can. I'm always good for a little bit of that. Just because I like the look of it. I want to keep with that vintage theme. So don't like to have things that are too new looking in here. And it's just craft paint. I put a little bit more on this one and it dries super fast, especially when you're using thin pieces of paper. And then you could just stick a little sticker on top. And then look at how it really spruces up the back of your pages. Okay, and then on this one, uh, let's see what kind of stamp I have. I'm just going to do um, one of my stamps, but what I'm going to do just for something a little different, uh, glue, okay, is the same technique I just did with the book. So you're going to take a book page. Okay, just stick it on top. And we're going to let that dry for a few minutes and we'll rip it off and then I'm going to stamp on top of it. So while we're waiting for that to dry, we've got our little pocket over here. Let's glue that and assemble it. Okay. If you don't know how to make these pockets, you can go watch some of my other videos on. And the, actually, I've got a tutorial on how to make the quarter flat vintage journal. And I show you how to make the pockets and the accordion insert. But... It's um, just a piece of paper, and you wrap another piece of paper on top. That's all. You can round the corners. Um, if you want a more in-depth tutorial, you can definitely go and watch my tutorial on that. And then you're gluing the sides that wrap around and just a little bit at the bottom to seal, you know, whatever you're putting in the pocket so it doesn't fall out. love these little pockets they're just like the neatest little things look at that whoops okay and i'm going to put that on this side and what i'm going to do is i'd like to stick a little sticker on the other side i'm going to use this one that says our plan And with this one, I'll just use a little bit of ink instead of the paint, just to get contrast, because I used paint on this one. So I've got my ink. Just 
age that up a bit. Now I'm going to have this here and I want this kind of underneath a bit. So I'm going to stick her right there. See how easy that is? I mean, it's just a really fun way of using all these different embellishments. Um, I think I'll add a little bit of music notes under not underneath. Maybe I want it going over the top. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll add it over the top to get some more layering. So let's get this little pocket on. Get her on right there. I love using my bone folder because it's just a really nice way to get everything down nice and flat. If you don't have one, um, definitely go check out my uh, website, evetsanamon.com, and I've got a link to um, a really nice little um, book starter kit, book binding starter kit, which is completely affordable. Um, I just have the link over on my website. I don't, it doesn't come from me, it comes from Amazon, but I'm al always researching, you know, the best prices on things so that I can recommend these tools for you. Um, but in the kit, it comes with bone folder and all needles for sewing your books and um oh god so many other goodies you get like four spools of wax linen uh i mean and and some so oh so look how cute that is and then over here i think this is probably dry by now i'm just gonna lift this up you know how i like my goody little wallpaper effect here with my book sheets, just get a little bit of oldness and grit there, and then I was going to do my little orchid stamp on top, and I'm just going to do it in black ink. And I'm going to do another tutorial with the next, um, the next book that I'm doing is the Bohemian Beach theme art journal. And I'm going to do another tutorial on how to make these rubble, rubber stamps. And as promised, I think what I'm going to do is see if there's a little bit of ink left over on this just to get some texture, just a little bit. How cool is that? But, you know, use your stamps. You got to do the tutorial on how to make your own rubber stamps. I have a ton of them. I love making them. You can use them, you know, anywhere. Um, I'm just digging in my stamp here to see if I can grab another stamp. Uh, but you're going to love using them in your journal. And the best part is that, you know, you made them. No one else is going to have them. They're completely unique. I have all these kind of like, I've got words that I've made. Um, here's a little dream stamp. I think what I'll do, okay, let, wait, let's put that aside. Because I'll show you another way for using these stickers. There's all these cute little stickers here with the tabs. And what I'm gonna do is if we just vintage, one of these little stickers up again okay it's a great way for using these stickers and then take your stamp got this one and just put your stamp over it could be a word it could be you know a picture 
and we have made another cute little embellishment just like that to stick in your art journal. How neat is that? Okay, we need something interesting there. So because I'm doing stickers today, oh, I did have something else, wait. I wanted to show you these cute little labels that you see everywhere. Let's use one of those. Okay. These are really neat. So, which one am I going to... Okay. We might end up moving this over a bit. Oh, I hope you can see. Okay. So, that little technique that I showed you where you do... Um, and I'll do a couple of these just in case so that you can see what, you know, what you want to do. Um, so I like to put a little bit of glue around the edges and stick your, you know, book page over it because we're going to do that same technique where you get some of that um, ah, lost for words, some of that print. From the book on it so we're gonna stick that on now we have to let that dry hope it dries fast I know you guys are waiting and it is shiny so you really have to let it dry so go ahead and try that just take your labels put page book pages if you've got um, musical notes you can add musical notes to it and just get glue so think of it as distressing even with ink you know how you take your your distress ink and you just kind of do the edges well pretend your glue is the ink and you're just going to go around along the edges to get the glue on the edges but leave the center and what will happen after it dries and you lift it up is your distressing from your paper is going to be okay this one's a bit just on the edges I'll show you here this one dried a little bit okay it's still a little too wet I thought I could kill some time with you um but in the meantime while we do that let me find another little let that dry a little stamp that we can use on one of these pages. Um, I have this cute little lip stamp here. And what I like about, you know how these little edges are, you can just have these cute little images kind of suggestive in the corner here like there's something underneath and I want to check it out so I've got a little lip see how cute that is uh, what else do I have I have words here shenanigans selfie uh, trying to read these backwards But these are always cute too, especially on lined paper. So I've got Epic, Oh Happy Day, LOL. Let's just do an Oh Happy Day. Okay, let me put another line here. Oh Happy Day, just kind of peeks out. So just little ideas for using your stamps. Um, So many different types of stamps here you guys this is cute too it's got the little like chain and sign hanging down so you can write things in that any 
taken around. You know what? I have a bird cage. Let me just look for my bird cage. I think that would be perfect for this. There's my bird cage. Okay. That usually never happens when I have a <laughs> time like that. And um to kill and I can find what I'm looking for. Okay, so a little birdcage stamp. I love to layer my stuff here, so I'm just gonna put it over the papers that I created. Look how cute that is. Okay, let's get back to this because this really should be dry by now. Okay, so I'm gonna start pulling the pages off. And just be careful when you're working with stickers that you don't tear up the sticker. But this is just such a neat way of transforming these stickers into something so much more interesting so they don't look all store-bought. And you don't need a lot. I just kind of wanted it on the edges there. Okay, so then you can peel your sticker up. If you want a little bit more of an aging on it, I'm going to take a little bit of ink because actually, you know what, on this one it's so glossy. Let me use a little bit of paint. I just don't know that the ink's going to stay. It'll probably just wipe up. Get a little bit of paint on this. And I do have um, tutorials up on how to, you know, uh, age up your papers and things like that using these techniques. So, all right, we're ready. Now we can just fill it up. and put it into our book and look how cool that is you just took one of those store-bought labels and you created a whole new embellishment from it Okay, and then I have got, where's my little, I'm just going to cut this and make a little note page to stick right in here, like so. Let's dress it up a bit. And then we've just, you know, expanded the space for you to write little notes. Um, there you go. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Got butter fingers. All right. And so that is. Those are the two pages that we created today just using store-bought stickers. We added a little space here for a photo or a stamp. We put a little sticker with some uh, messages on it. We've made these little flap notepads uh, within the journal page with store-bought uh, um, Oh, lost for words today. 
store-bought tags and, and note pages. That's not the word I'm looking for, but I'm literally lost for words. And then we just stamped the reverse side of it so that we didn't have, you know, something plain there. And we've got a sticker that we added here. And on this side, we did a little bit of that um, wallpaper effect with a stamp. And that is what we created today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how you can, you know, spruce up and age up all that store-bought stuff so it looks like something new and then add it into your vintage journal. So you kind of got two for one today. You got to see me journal, but at the same time, you got a little tutorial on um, some techniques. So I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you soon for some of my other videos. Thanks, guys. Bye.